Oh, Patreon. Thank you all so much for your pledges. Uh, we're going to go ahead and get an extended for today's reading, okay? Um, I was actually just sitting here kind of also doing some meditating and stuff like that. And um, obviously some releasing. Good stuff. Good stuff. But yeah, let's get some um, extended messages from today's reading. Um, I heard, uh, so yeah, there's exposure to a false couple here, okay? Exposure to a false couple. Also, you are moving through some sort of forgiveness here, okay? All right, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what does the collective need to know, please, for this extended message? Hummingbirds might be very significant. Okay, because they showed up in the last the last reading as well. Some of you need to take a trip. You just need to like get out of town. <laughs> Look, here's that forgiveness showing back up here. Okay. Yeah, being enough. All right. This also showed up last reading. It was the bottom of the deck. So I know we're in alignment here. So we have calmness, traveling, and divine timing. The traveling card says, let every aspect of this trip unfold in harmony. May divine order arrange and handle every detail. I'll be guided easily and follow the leads that they are shown. So... Some of you might be taking a trip or, um, you know what I mean? There's something and you could be like worried about it. All right. Something that might help you is to move through this forgiveness first before traveling. Okay. Um, but I really feel like the divine, if, if you are going to be traveling possibly, um, sorry, it's if you were going to be traveling, um, somewhere, Okay. And maybe you're a little worried about it. Or maybe you're worried about. Some of it could be self-forgiveness too. I'm picking up on. here. Hmm. Okay. Let's get some on here. Reflections in reverse with the brat. Usually these cards are in reverse, so I think that's significant. There's there's an energy that's not seeing something correctly here. Huh. Or they're not... Um, A lot of these cards are upside down actually we're gonna we're gonna go with it I don't know how it ended up that way but
there's a new gift that you're discovering. So a way of expressing yourself here. Okay? And like I said, uh, or like I channeled the other day, right? Gifts are hidden right underneath the shadow. Your spiritual gifts, your God-given gifts, they're hidden right underneath the shadow here. Yeah. And I feel like there's something that could have been attached to your throat chakra, your self-expression here. Maybe something about writing. Maybe about writing music. Maybe about writing a book. Maybe about... Oh, I also picked up on like a comic book. Somebody might be writing a comic book. Um, that's cool. I like that. Or children's books. Um... It doesn't have to be writing, but there's something going on with your throat chakra, and I, and I feel like there's you're clearing something out here. Um, some some of you too, you've been rescued from an energy that I really feel like some of you possibly have been alchemizing something that, or trying to alchemize something that's not yours, if that makes sense. So you've been trying to understand um, what exactly is going on, and I feel like you're being rescued from this energy. You know, it's also this energy too where the divine is rescuing you from your own. demise is what I heard or self-sabotage here I, I heard very specifically that somebody stole something that was yours It could have been a book. Um, could have been some sort of inspiration. Could have been an idea. Um, But I really feel like there's this energy of... Like somebody sitting in your energy. Here. Right, this could be that person that was wanting that new beginning. Right, that I picked up on earlier. Um, yeah, the brat here, or the moon dragon. You know what I've also been picking up on the last couple days is... There's literally like you and somebody else that cannot exist in the same, it's like your energies are so, you know, when you put the opposite ends of the, the magnet, right? Like, um, and they, and they push each other away. That's this energy that I'm picking up on. And you may be figuring out who that energy is, right? So if, if you are in your divine energy and this person is in a very karmic energy, 
that that's what's happening here and there's like this I'm somebody's like invading your territory your space your energy something Tell me more. What else is a collective need to know about this? Crazy. He hurt his friend. Now he's inside. We have Friday Nightmare on Elm Street, Mi Vida Loca, which is my crazy life, and uh, Chris Brown. There's definitely a new flame coming towards you, but I'm wondering about these other energies. Because we have the Matrix at the bottom of the deck here. And I'm really drawn to him, like, holding up his hand like that. You're putting a stop to something. And you may be doing it through prayer. Okay? Or some type of meditation. Um, I feel like there's a lot of gossip going on right now. Collective. With the with Steel Magnolias in the Breakfast Club here. It feels like there's a lot of gossip here. And for some reason, I feel like it has to do how you were raised or how you grew up or look, we have poetic justice, divine masculine here. 
So Divine Masculine, this might be a message for you. Because I feel like you're showing up here. You've, you've done a lot of growing and evolving. Okay, that makes sense. This makes sense. Divine Masculine, you may have been surrounded by some karmic friends and maybe even a karmic female here. And I really feel like you've been um, doing the right thing, okay? Something, it's possible that you've been like rescued from somebody here. Yeah, I just had to figure out whose energy I was picking up on. That might also be significant, collective. Um, whether you're divine masculine, divine feminine, you may be picking up on somebody's energy that doesn't feel right, right? You may be feeling off or whatever it is. You just, and, and there's this, it's like this, um, especially if we're tying it into the message from earlier, right? Um, it, it, there's this energy of, again, I feel like, You've done a lot of the inner work. You've done a lot of the shadow work. And so there's kind of like, I don't know who it is that I need to forgive. Whose energy is this, right? Um, because I feel like you, you recognize, um, there's, there's probably a lot of people from the past that are still, you know, very much in the shadow. I think you've seen evidence of this somehow. But I feel like, Divine Masculine, you're working through, you know, you may have had, um, I feel like you've had to work through, you know, your own, like, childhood neglect, maybe subconscious fears, maybe even, um, with Friday being here, maybe there was, like, um, You could have like lost your drive, lost your energy, something about marijuana, right? Um, THC. But there's clear evolution here. Yeah, Divine Masculine, I feel like you have been, you're being rescued here from an energy. You may have got tangled up in some sort of energy here. I see it's very clear that you've been evolving, right? And there could have been a new flame, possibly, here. Um... For some reason, I feel like Divine Masculine, you could have been under some sort of spell. You may be traveling. Um, there, Divine Masculine, there would be somebody in particular that makes just makes you feel calm. You know what I mean? And if you may be traveling to this person. There, divine masculine, there may be a divine feminine that may be like really kind of surrounded by, 
you may see that she that he or she right um is really surrounded by a lot of lower vibrational energy here You also may see that she's getting a lot of attention, but the wrong kind of attention. It's like, I feel like you want to, um, you know, this person, this divine feminine, maybe, you know, you, maybe you're watching the, their social media, right? Like w whatever it is, you know, most people have social media, so they could just be posting or something like that. But there's, I feel like there's something that's telling you um that this divine feminine is kind of maybe uh, under some sort of attack or you know what i mean like it's like the, the um this divine feminine may be really surrounded by a lot of people that don't have her best interests but it could be um For some reason, I also feel like um, Divine Masculine, you may know that this, um, about this couple that could be setting up Divine Feminine, right? If we're going off of the extended, this is kind of a mix of both readings, Divine Masculine and, and also an extended from today. Um, you may know about this, this couple that's setting up this Divine Femme. Right. And so you may be wanting to come in and help this divine feminine in some some way. Right. Um, whether it be just telling them the truth or. Um, Pulling them out of some sort of drama. Maybe even like taking them on some sort of trip here. Hey, babe. Mama. Yeah. What's my school called? Can I tell you in a bit? No, right now. I don't want to tell you while I'm recording. Why? Because I don't want everyone to know what school you go to. Why? Because there's some weirdos out there sometimes. Granted, this is, I feel like I can trust a lot of these people. It's not on YouTube, but, you know, I don't. Here, come here, I'll whisper it to you. Don't say it. I don't know if you heard that or not. Hopefully not. Anyways. I feel like somebody's being exposed. I feel like somebody's secrets are being exposed. But something's over. Divine Masculine. Yeah, because we have but God. Something's over here. Divine Masculine, you're meant for something. I don't know what it is. And I just really feel like you've had some friends or some family or, a, um, a, a, you know, a karmic energy. 
that has really been trying to cause like controversy or challenges or um you know it's like this it's like this energy of Say, for instance, you, like, you don't want to do something anymore. I don't know if it was still recording. Something that you know that's not suitable for you. Right? 2626 26 on the timer when I look up. And, and your friends, they know that, you, like, say you want to quit drinking, okay? That's the first thing that comes to mind. And, and somebody is like, and people around you are still like, you know, offering you, you know, drinks or whatever it may be, right? It's, it's just like this type of energy. It's like the people around you, I feel like are not in support of you moving on, of you moving forward, of you stepping in this divine energy. Oh. They also really don't like your calmness. Maybe how calm you're handling a situation. We've been I've been seeing the tower a lot lately. There's a lot of towers happening, okay? There's a lot of shit that's going down. All right. Yeah, you may get some sort of generous offer, okay? Yeah, this could be the tower. And I feel like you, uh, this is very much connected to that energy earlier, right? You may not take this offer if you're still connected to these people. There's something coming. Some of you, Divine Feminine, this is for you. This is an energy of there's a karmic that's trying to hold on to you. But you know that there's a, that there is a, first of all, you know that this karmic energy, I don't know, for some reason they may want you to, and this could be divine masculine too, they, they may want you to forget about the past here. This could be that energy that's, you know, going back to somebody that's possibly like working with your parents maybe, or working with another couple here to keep you in this three of swords energy. Um, I just feel like some people are really trying to manifest in your life. And so, Divine Masculine or Divine Feminine here, I feel like the, the point is, is there these people are either trying to keep you from just going into a new timeline, right, where your Divine Spouse is, or a, a, a very large opportunity or something here. 
but there's this energy of um, some of you maybe may know who your divine partner is like maybe you're getting some sort of idea um, because this this might be somebody from um, not from the past right this could be somebody new and that and it's possible that the divine is giving you hints okay I do feel like you are probably getting a lot of signs and synchronicities um, either about what's coming for you um, what timeline you're aligning to who this person is here um, I just heard somebody wanted you to go back into hiding. Interesting. I don't think you were hiding. I think you probably were in hermit mode. But somebody may desire that for you. Yeah, because then they can they can have something that's meant for you. Whether it be this divine partner, this opportunity, this... We're always picking up on this, right? The collective, there's a group of people that know that you're meant for something big. But I feel like there's some people that are running here. Running from the law. I also feel like there's somebody that's wanting to come in very quickly with some sort of communication. I really feel like whoever this message is for, Divine Masculine or Divine Feminine, um, there's some people that are like testing you. And I feel like this is pissing God off. <laughs> because who do they who do they think they are? Oh no. One of the stray kitties is injured. Limping. I want to help it. This is so significant, right? This is so significant. This is this is this is and hers all dirty and wet and yucky. I want to help him or her. Okay, guys, I'm going to wrap this up and I'm going to go help this kitty cat, okay? Anyways, yeah, this is... I'm not even sure that I'm going to post this. Because I feel like this is the same message as it was earlier. I may... Yeah. You know that the wheel is spinning for you. And that you are shifting timelines here. Okay? Wheel of Fortune. And so it's in that you're calling your power back. And I really feel like there's somebody that is very balanced as well. Okay. And they're wanting to kind of, they want to come add, they want to come give, they want to come, um, you know, put their own,
Yeah, it's like this energy of wanting to come and like help assist bring you into calmer waters, right? There's like this energy that is like knows uh, maybe of like, you know, um, you know, going to the cat, right? Like I want to go help the cat. Like I want to maybe even try to get it into the vet and see what's going on with it. Um, or just give it, you know, a safe space out of the rain to relax. You know what I mean? But it's like this energy of somebody that is wanting to take action to do the same, to bring you into calmer waters. Because I feel like this person recognizes like this constant battle. It's like there is somebody that like knows that this couple could be working with this person and that like these people are just relentlessly coming towards you. Um, and I just, I feel like this person also knows how hard you've worked to possibly even like get out of this three of swords energy, right? Yeah, and if this is not an actual person, the divine, it's the divine that is about to um, either have you traveling, moving, or just be pulling you out of it, out of a, it's like um, pulling you out of the lion's den, you know what I mean? Pulling you out, where did the kitty cat go? Shit, guys. Yeah. Like, I don't know. I just, I feel like there's, there's an energy. There's somebody that has really seen you fight against this. That's really seen you, um, work really hard to get where you are. Or they recognize that. Or they recognize, you know what I mean? Like the, the childhood neglect or the, um, you know what I mean? Or this is somebody who has some sort of insight on what these people are doing. Okay. Um, and I, um, I don't know. I heard, you know, they're sick of it. So there's, so this person may have been aware of what was going on behind the scenes. So be careful. You know, I don't know. I don't know how much they know or what they know or, you know, um, But I feel like it's somebody that wants to come help you. This is this could also be somebody who's just done a lot of research, right? A lot of investigating, a lot of um, looking into things and people. And what they see, though, is they see this hermit and this strength energy from you, okay? Yeah, I'm telling you, there's somebody that's very much in their head about this new beginning. If you shift into this energy, which you are, this temperance earth angel energy, everything that they have done will have been worthless, a waste. Because I feel like these people have worked really hard to keep you from reaching this Yeah, this could also be somebody that left you behind here. And now they're feeling very much stuck. This couple could have left you behind.
they're having a hard time here. One of them, five of swords, the other one, eight of swords. Spiritual prison. Hi. <gasps> Hi, yes. Mom, I'm hungry. Huh? I'm hungry. Okay, I'll be in in just a second. He ended up not going to his grandmother's because his friend came over here instead. For anyone that was going to inquire in the comments. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm telling you. there. It's like there's this energy in which... And there's somebody that is like, yeah, they're reflecting in the past here. Now, I'm not saying that you necessarily want to be rescued, right? But I feel like the divine is bringing through some sort of assistance. They're bringing through somebody that, um, an emperor. Here it is. Okay. Yeah, and I'm telling you, these are people from... There are people from the past that know that if you take a leap of faith towards this partnership, whether it be business, romantic, whatever it is, that your juggling, okay, will be over. Your imbalance will be over. Yeah, you're about to get some sort of truth that may shock you. It may shock the hell out of you. Okay? It may have actually shocked this person as well. It could also be a couple that's approaching you to work together with them. Okay? So... Anyways, all you need to do is continue to gain balance, have patience, continue to gain balance and harmony within yourself here. That's all you need to do. Because this is coming. Okay? Alright. Anyways, I love you. I'm going to go feed the... Feed the boys.